All right, so the method is here. Whatever things I've said is actually there, okay, in here. Well, I'm not sure whether this word is present in your notes, okay, because I do not know why I colored it with the, with the purple color or blue color. Perhaps it is not in your notes, but is it in your notes? Yeah, it's in the notes. Okay, okay, right, okay. So how do we calculate this? So I think probably if we look at the example, then it will be clearer. Okay, so let's look at the example. Okay, this is a, it's a picture showing on how to do the membrane filtration method. Okay, this is the filter, as I said. Uh, so the membrane paper is there. So you need to, put your, to pour your water sample inside this filter. So we use um, suction okay, method. So the, the water will be filtered very fast. So this wet paper needs to be put in this uh, dish. Okay, this is what I call a dish containing agar. And then this is after incubation, you can see the number of colonies present on the paper. <laughs> right, so if you do not like uh, black and white color, so I have a colored picture. Okay, so this is a colored picture. All right, the blue one, okay, this is a blue one. Uh, this is for a control experiment whereby you use a sterile water. Okay, do the filtration and then just basically without any viruses or without any bacteria, without any uh, microorganism, indicator microorganism. Okay, so a sterile water. So you filter them and put agar and then put in the incubator so it will be like this. Okay, just blue. This is uh, the sample after we put the agar, look brown in color or maroon in color. Okay before entering the incubator. And this is after the incubation period of 24 hours. So those are the number of colonies that you need to count. Okay, is that clear? Yes, yes. Yes, doctor. Thank you.